Hi everyone, my name is Michelle, this is the 13th of December, welcome along. Um, we've not long got back actually from the National Botanical Gardens, um, which is just outside of Carmarthen, just the other side of Carmarthen to us. Um, and we went to see their Luminate display, which is the whole gardens all beautifully lit up um, with various different sort of soundscapes and lightscapes and the big dome is all lit up and it was fabulous, it was really really great. Um, so many things to look at, so many lights. I'll put some little clips, uh, little pictures and a couple of little clips up. In the dome they were, um, you were doing a fairy trail and they had these fabulous little cages which had little holographic fairies in them, nests, thought they were absolutely amazing. Um, so I'll put a little clip up of those. Um, and then we got to the end of the trail. Now bearing in mind, it was probably like minus four there. Um, I looked like Nanook of the North. I had literally every layer on. I've probably still got like far too many layers on now. And um, I was sat by the radiator because it was quite cold in the house when we came back. So I might end up looking a little glowy. Um, so yeah, it was brilliant. And then when we finished, we had a hot chocolate and I had one with cherry brandy in it and it was delicious. That is definitely something that I will be doing at home this Christmas. Get myself some cherry brandy. Um, I'll show you one thing that we picked up. This is actually gonna be very useful in our house with a uh, somewhat gluttonous Dalmatian. It's just a little sign for the kitchen. The dog has been fed. The dog has not been fed. <laughs> um, quite often of an evening, um, Chris and I will cross over. So one of us will be taking uh, nest to karate or swimming or whatever and we'll cross over. So um, the dog never doesn't get dinner, but sometimes he gets two dinners. <laughs> and he is not in a position to be having too many evenings with two dinners in. So uh, yeah, he's rather like myself. He doesn't need two dinners <laughs> at the minute. So let's have a look and see what we've got. I have got a little bit of stitching. I've got the Home for Captured Children, um, a freebie to show you. I'm gonna just show you very quickly the treat box because there was some information that I needed to give you about that. A uh, couple of advents as normal. And I fished out some Christmas charts to have a little look through. Just a few to just whet our appetite for those of us who are still um, happily merrily Christmas stitching. Okay, number 13, we are here in the middle of the red. So, uh, we've got some door peepers. Kids that stand around in doors peeping at stuff. Just watching, seeing what's happening. So there's two. One is cowering behind the other one. But they are door peepers. You know when your kid just like, kind of appears at the door and just peers round? looks that's what they're doing peepers not quite peeping toms but they're just peepers <coughs> right stitching I only got a chance to do a very little bit of stitching last night so I decided to crack on and start the third of the red work pairs and as I said I only got a very little start which I've left a dangling thread. It's such a pretty little stitch already. And I am stitching it in, I didn't say yesterday, uh, silky, <coughs> excuse me, 12 weight cotton, 1035 or 1035. Really nice colour, almost like um, a strawberry, a strawberry red. So hopefully I will get that one finished fairly soon. Before I go any further, I just wanted to talk about the treat box. Now I showed this yesterday. If you want to go and have a look at yesterday's video of trying the various different treats, then you can. Um, yeah, I gave the box to my family afterwards. And so there's a few things left, but quite a few things that have additional teeth marks in them now but 
so I'm going to put all this information in today and also in yesterday. So if there's a code, you can get 15% off your first box if you use my affiliate link. So I'll post that down below. I've not had an affiliate link before, I don't think. I've just had a code before. So um, yeah, if you want to get 15% off your first box, if you fancy this, then I'll put all the details down below and I'll also put it on yesterday's video. But they sent me an email, but the email only came today because they think the box is still waiting to be delivered. Little do they know I've had it and eaten it. <laughs> That's how things roll sometimes. Okay, let's have a look at number 13. So, there we go, number 13. It's one of them days. I've got live stuff today. Oh, L'Occitane. Do you know what? I could have told you that just from looking at that down the box. Very distinctive. Uh, hand cream. I think this is just normal hand cream. I don't think it's got a smell to it. Oh, it's got a lid on it, so we'll never know. Uh, I'm going to keep that until I need it. I'm not a big one for hand cream. I don't tend to suffer from dry hands. But... Um, but I do like L'Occitane things. I do like L'Occitane. Right, let's have a look at the freebie. Now, I was looking on Pinker and Punkin Blogspot, which is a great, great place for freebies. If you ever are looking for a little small, fabulous. Melissa does a fabulous job. And she does lots of quilting and decor and so much stuff she's got on there. It's absolutely amazing. Um, and I was just having a little peruse through there today and I saw this one. And it's the simplest little little um, pin cushion but it's so lovely it's so so lovely so that's the chart I'll just show it back there I'll put the link for you to go and grab a proper copy of it um, but the picture is just there's just something about it it's darling absolutely darling and it's one of those ones that is not necessarily just for Christmas this you could keep this out right the way through till the end of um, the end of your snowy cold time which for us it's been another really cold day today the ice um that we had on the roads is kind of it's kind of refrozen i don't think it ever really properly thawed but it seems to have thawed a bit and refrozen so um yeah getting home tonight fine on the main roads but the our little road that's not been gritted at all was particularly sketchy might be able to hear Ness. she's just going to bed because she's uh, obviously been up late going to see the uh, the lights as I said she loved it loved it loved it right I'm going to show you I've got a stack of charts here and I'm going to just show you a few of them I've probably pulled out far too many but I've also got quite a lot more to show you <laughs> so we'll see we'll see how many we get through this one now this is a Lindy Stitches, Stitches Merry Manatees and actually I thought about this one the other day. It's been out for um, a couple of years. Does it say on it when? 2019. Um, and it made me think of the hippo that the Blue Flower had just done their freebie of. This isn't a freebie but it's a great design. It's called Merry Manatees. So something a little bit different there. What else have we got? Now we've got, as she pulls closer, get a bit co comfy, Winter Snow Owl. This is by uh, Blackberry Lane Designs. Now Blackberry Lane Designs, quite often with them you get a chart and part of that chart is probably over one. I would imagine that the owl's face is over one and the rest of it is over two. But that's how they get such brilliant detail. This one is by Lucy Beam and it's called Crown House. Now this was in Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine and it was this chart actually that made me get Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine um, amongst others but this one brought it home to me because I paid for this chart and then I subscribed to Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine and it was in the magazine. So like I said every time there's always great charts in there they always end up being released so you might as well buy the magazine but this is called crown house 
as I said, it is in um, Pencil Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine if you've got the back catalogue. This is by the Bay Needle Arts, Santa in the Country. And he appears to be riding either <coughs> a sheep, maybe? I love the way that snow has been done. Fab. Now I like this one too. This is called Phoebe's Forest and it's by the City Stitcher, which is not necessarily a brand that you see frequently or a design house that you see frequently, but they've got some beautiful charts. And I like the fact that you've got a smaller one as well as the larger one. Little House Needleworks. This one is called Winter Plaid. Winter Plaid, yeah. Love, love, love. That's a reasonably recent one, actually. No, it isn't. I like it's 2012. I'm sure there's been something out that's similar to that then recently. <coughs> Excuse me. Country Cottage Needleworks, Forest Snowfall. So it says, while snow is softly falling, gliding gently to the ground, our neighbours from the forest cosy up and gather round. I'm just going to take this one out a second because it's got... fluff in it. Now I'm sure, there's the fluff. I'm sure you will have seen, well it doesn't matter you've seen it now, um, I'm sure you will have seen that one but lots of these kind of really, you know, you've got to take a second look. I was just going through these to pull them out and I was like I want to do that one, I want to do that one, I want to do that one. Um, so this is by Heartstring Samplery, Samplery. I See Trees of Green. Uh, it says, I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Not necessarily Christmassy, but it could be. I've got three little Lizzie Cates here. The 2017 one, called The Elves Did It. The 2018 one, uh, 2015 one, which is Celebrate. And the... 2016 one uh, old school Santa. Now I don't know why I don't stitch more berries because I love berries. But this is Saint Nick's Berry by Erica Michaels. Heartstring Samplery Hibernation Day. Now if you are watching uh, Between Two Whips, which is on the Evertotes channel with Caroline and Kerry, uh, Caroline is stitching this one. It says, um, I love the snap of winter, I love the snap of winter air and snowflakes on my face. How snow drifts makes the world disappear without a trace. I'll take a day dressed in pyjamas in a room without a view. If I can spend the day curled up next to you, let's have a night hibernation day, me and you. They are actually doing, if you fancy this one, they are actually doing a custom cut of fabric. Um, because it's a long thin one and I can't remember if there was floss with it as well but have a look if you're interested uh, souvenirs of the heart what's that one called home for Christmas that's stitched over one but you could easily just make it a bit bigger absolute classic one a Merry Christmas sampler by La Di Dell. Rack Stack by Plum Street Samplers. Now when I first started stitching and watching Floss Tube, this was everywhere. Now I haven't really seen it recently, uh, probably because everybody's done it. <laughs> it's called Lantern Lane by Little House Needleworks. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, Berry Cottage, again, not necessarily Christmas, but could be would fit with Christmas decor. Now this is Christmas is Coming by Shakespeare's Peddler. So it says, Christmas is coming, the goose is getting fat, please put a penny in the old man's hat. If you haven't got a penny, a halfpenny will do. If you haven't got a halfpenny, then God bless you. And it came with some little buttons as well. I got that one from a stash and those, I remember. Oh, 
I got to the end. Well, I belted through those quite quickly. So hopefully you had a pen and a bit of paper handy. Um, if I get the urge, I will do some more charts. Let me know if there is um, like a theme that you want to look at, because obviously we're halfway through December, more than halfway through December. Not everyone's going to be wanting to be starting stitching. So let me have th let hmm. words, right order. Have a think if there's any kind of chart parades that you would like to see and I'll have a look and see what I've got on that particular theme and we can do one of those as well. Right, we are down to this one. Now this, I say this every time, but this one does feel, this one does feel different. So let's have a look and see. We have A Very Bunny Christmas by Romy's Creations. So we have this time a chart. Fabulous. Love it. Love it. Love it. And it's just folded into a little. Can't show the chart because it's on the inside. So it's got. A bunny there, which is Merry Xmas. That's cool. That's cool. Suggested DMCs, and it is what size is it? 60 by 60. So that wouldn't take a very long time to do. And that's it from me. I'll see you tomorrow. Stay classy, stitches.